Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and it's Friday night after work. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I feel haggard. I just want something like really nutrient dense. I want iron. I want B vitamins. I want liver. <laughs> I'm gonna make something a little different. Um, I'm not in the mood for pate. I'm not in the mood for hidden liver beef scramble. I want freshly sauteed liver scallopini. Somebody from straight from Italy gave me this idea. I had never thought of it or heard of it, but um, to pound the liver thin and then lightly saute it, my mind was blown. I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I know it's going to be awesome. So first thing I'm going to do before I even pound the liver is I'm going to slowly saute and caramelize my onions while I'm prepping the liver. So. I'm going to, so I'm just going to put this on uh, medium and cook them nice and slow. Put like a tablespoon of coconut oil, a tablespoon and a half. Okay, coconut oil is melting. I'm just going to throw in like, this is two cups of sliced onion. This is not all going to be um, eaten with my dinner tonight. I'm going to have to keep some in the fridge for burgers and stuff too. These are even good caramelized onions. Oh, throw some in your salad. Endless, endless things you can do with them. So let these things start caramelizing and get back to the liver. So I'm gonna lay down some plastic wrap just to, so that I don't have to, you know, I don't have liver juice all over my counters. I just rinsed it. I just wanna pat it dry. I put some salt on that. Coarse Himalayan pig salt. And then using the flat side of this, I'm just going to pound this into super thin scallopini. That is thin. We're gonna set this aside and prepare to dredge it. Those onions are making my eyes water like crazy. Um, okay, so we have our liver pounded thin, we have our onions caramelizing. Why aren't I cooking the liver with the onions at the same time? Because I find that the onions take longer than the liver. I just want the onions ready to go caramelized, plus I wanted a bunch extra anyway. I'm gonna use my arrow root flour. There's a video above, link above to that video. You can use arrowroot too, that's really easy to find. Cassava flour. Don't use coconut flour, I don't think it would be as good. So anyway, I'm using Tayro. I don't wanna season this. I'm gonna put it in the bullet, right? Nah. I don't know, it's like a quarter cup or third of a cup. <laughs> and into this flour. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna add three fresh garlic cloves right to this dry flour. And I'm gonna blend it up. This is garlic seasoned flour. We're gonna dredge that scallopini with it. Caramelized onions are about done. I'm just gonna set these aside. So we're gonna dredge this scallopini, right? In this plate, I'm gonna put some coconut milk. I like this Avery D brand just as much as the um, Trader Joe's. Put a little salt in here too. Mmm, this flour is gonna be so good to bread fish with too. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna cut this in half so it's a little easier to handle. And we take the scallopini and very carefully, because I pounded this really thin and I don't want it falling apart and it's falling apart. It's gonna be good though, falling apart or not. You get it in there. And the coconut butter, I mean oil, coconut oil. idea. Yeah. 
Here's how I'm gonna get the other side because I know it's gonna fall apart when I try to lift it. There. Ah, look at that. That will help it hold together, all the flour. This is still, I pounded this a little too thin and I don't regret it. I'm not gonna let that coconut milk go to waste. I'm gonna make a pan sauce. Okay. Now I want this pan really well oiled. So I'm gonna use like two tablespoons of coconut oil, refined. Looks like two tablespoons. I love that it's moving in the pan. That's a good sign. <laughs> now, honestly, it's time to flip. You do not want to overcook this. Oh, yeah. How on earth could that be bad? Woo! All right, that's enough. It's brown. It's, it's cooked without being, you know, cooked to death. Look at that beautiful brown. I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna make, haha, pan sauce. That coconut milk in there that you use to dredge the liver. That taro root left over is gonna thicken it. Throw some onions in there, your caramelized onions. It's reducing quickly. I think we're done here. There's your creamy onion sauce. Oh. I'm going to stick this on the side because I want to stir up some greens. I don't want to have just liver without any greens. Got all deep fried and creamy stuff. <laughs> Let's have something a little bit uh, green with that. Here we go. I had some greens just kind of hanging out. Oh, perfect. I need that liquid. These were cooked yesterday. Just warm them up. I would like to mention that I'm not going to throw this away even though it had raw liver in it and I used it to dredge the liver. This is too precious to throw away. I'm going to put this in the freezer and I'm going to write liver on the bag and um, I'm going to use it to bread, bread, I'm going to use it to dredge my next batch of liver because I am going to be making this again. Let's take a look at this. That liver is crispy like fried chicken, this onion cream sauce. Oh my goodness. I have to go cause I have to eat this. Look at that. I'm gonna put the cream sauce like, should I put it right on the side? Ugh, I don't know. I should look at that. Just it's, it's ooey gooey delicious cream sauce and super crispy liver scallopini. Garlicky and oniony and yeah, I gotta go. So there you have it. Crispy pan fried liver scallopini with garlicky taro flour and a creamed onion sauce with greens. Let me know how you like this. I think this might be the best way to eat liver ever. I can't even think straight. I, need, I just need to eat this like now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, subscribe below. I post new videos every Thursday, sometimes bonuses on Sunday. Also, you can find me on Patreon where I post free little sneak peeks into my um, behind the scenes and my everyday life. It's kind of like a Snapchat feature. I make my videos available to the public so you don't have to be a patron to view them. Um, some of them are private, but most of them are, you know, good good portion of them are available to the public for free so check me out there there's a link below in the description 
I hope to see you soon and until then be healthy.